Hey, hello everybody. Uh, we're gonna make some hash browns today. Uh, a friend of mine asked me a long time ago to do a video on hash browns, and uh, you know, I finally got around to it. You know, a lot of people can't make hash browns. They don't know what to do. There are a few tricks that you need to know. Okay, number one, I want to show you this little machine that I bought here. Uh, it has a, you know, listen, I don't normally buy this kind of stuff. Um, you know, I can count the the things that I bought off a TV ad, you know, on one finger. <laughs> you know what I mean? I bought one thing, the New Wave Oven, and I love that thing, man. It really works. Uh, but anyway, this I found at Amazon. I think it was like 19 bucks. You could probably find one cheaper. Um, all right, what I did was I filled up the bottom there with water. And uh, and I put the grater on the, the, the smallest grater is, is the, the die that's in there right now. This is the reason why I bought it, because I ruined one of those metal graters. You know, it fell apart. And then I had another one that was like a washboard type thing, and it fell apart. So I bought this thing, all right? Okay, so now I'm going to shred this potato on the smallest shredder, okay? There's two size shredders in this machine. I'm using the smallest one. And all you do is go back and forth, and it cuts on both edges, back and forth. Okay, now listen, you got to be careful. Watch your fingers. These things are really sharp. And I mean really sharp. Uh, it comes with a little adapter I'll show you at the end where you can put the potato in this protector thing and you won't uh, cut your fingers off. Okay, but again, be very careful. I don't use the adapter. So, oh, wait a minute. I have some coffee cakes coming out of the oven. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, man, them things are so good. Sour cream coffee cake. I have a video for it if you haven't seen it. All right, now strain the water off of the potatoes. You have to rinse the potatoes. Otherwise, you have too much starch, and they're not good. Okay, now there's some butter. There's quite a bit of butter in there. I'm going to say at least a teaspoon and a half of butter. I know it sounds like a lot. It actually is a lot. But if you ate a big potato, you would eat that much butter. All right, now put it. It has to be in a black pan. I don't know. I mean, trust me on this. It works better in a black pan. If you use a silver, you know, a uh, stainless steel pan or aluminum, forget it. It's not going to work as well. The black pan is where it's at. It's a Teflon pan and, uh, and, and it works. Okay. So anyway, you put the potatoes in and don't stir them. Leave them alone. Put a lid on the pan so that the potatoes can steam. All right. Don't forget, those are raw potatoes. You have to steam them. Uh, if you don't steam them, they won't, uh, they won't be done, and um, it's going to be a big mess. You've got to have a lid. Uh, okay, so the lid is on. Oh, look at that, man. They're all separated. They're not sticking. Uh, now you can check to see if they're ready. No, they're not. Not yet. Okay, no problem. Put the lid back on. That's one of the main tricks is do not stir the potatoes. Leave them alone. You have to be patient. You got to leave them alone. They have to brown. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to flip them over. Oh, mama. Now that's some nice potatoes right there. <laughs> and out of that one potato, I, I uh, managed to get two orders out of it. All right, there you go. Oh, brother, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It's so good. They are so good. Uh, a little salt, pepper, maybe an egg. Oh, man. Okay, now there's the amount of butter. All right. The butter makes it. You know, the butter really does make the potato. It gives it the flavor. It helps it brown. It really does. Uh, it, it makes the potato, I tell you. I suppose you could use olive oil, but you're not going to get the same flavor. Uh, okay, now, again, you put them in, put the lid on, and leave them alone. Now, you notice there they're not stuck? Okay, good deal. All right, put the lid back on. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, so good. Now, when they 
when they when they're done, you can cut them in half and stack them on top of each other. Oh wait, here comes another thing. Hold on. There you go. Once you flip it over, you know, to let the bottom cook a little bit, then you flip them back over and let without the lid and let the uh, and let the the brown surface let that get crispy again. Okay. Okay, here's that machine. Here's the little uh, the the uh, protector there. You put the potato in there, and you uh, you know you go crazy on it. Um, like I say, I don't use that protector. It's a big pain. Here's the the different uh, the different inserts right there. There's a slicer. No, there's two slicers. There's two graters, and there's a waffle a waffle thing for like waffle fries or or cucumbers or something like that. All right, here come the potatoes. Now listen, the main thing is just leave them alone. Be patient. Let them brown. Oh, look at that, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, listen, you might be able to find this someplace else around town, but I guarantee you, you can't find it any better than this right here. I got to go. I got to eat.